Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. My name is LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very simple lifestyle vlog where I get here every morning and I try to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the divorced mother of three adult children. I have two boys and a girl. I am a United States Navy veteran. I'm also a surgical tech. I am disabled and I work full time here now from my home. I am a hustler. That's right, I'm a hustler. I get up every day and I work. I do something for my YouTube channel every single day and I love what I do. I love to help people, uplift people, encourage people and talk about the love of the Lord. That's right. So this is my new intro. So here I am, <laughs> and if you like what you see, click like, share, comment, and come back here on a daily basis. So, here's today's video. Hey there, YouTube. It's a beautiful day here in Florida, but you know what? It always is beautiful here in Florida. And I say that in all my videos, and I tell you, you need to move here, okay? We got rain, we got hurricanes, but you know what? Every place you move to got something. You move to Chicago, you got snow, okay? You know, you move to California, you got earthquakes. It's just, it just doesn't matter where you move to or where you live. It's always going to be something. So why not just look for the positive in everything? It's always hot in Florida. We got hurricanes all the time. It rains and all those other good things. But you know what? Most of the year, it's absolutely stunning. You can go to the beach. You can go anywhere. And I like that. That's why I moved here. Okay? <laughs> okay, enough of that. Let's get focused. Now, I like to do affirmations. And I do them all the time. And when I got in the hospital this last time, I was at a wit's end. First of all, uh, when I went to the hospital, I didn't know I was going to stay there, obviously. So I had no Bible. So by the time the chaplain got to me, I'd already been in ICU a week. And all he could get me was a Bible. It was about this big. I, I couldn't even read it. I couldn't see it. And he said that he would try to find me a magnifying glass, and he just couldn't. And then they don't have one. What I learned is they don't have one chaplain. They have a series of chaplains, like two or three, and they rotate and that type of thing. So no magnifying glass. And so I was uh, basically there without my uh, without my Bible. So I did the downloaded the app to my phone, and that was enough where I could at least see what I was reading. So, uh, but my phone is uh, is at the last leg. I gave it. <laughs> It's dying. Uh, some calls fall off. Sometimes it just get completely muted and everything. But I told my daughter about it. And she said that November would be a good month for uh, some type of upgrade. So um, I guess anything better than the 8. I keep saying 8. It's an 8 Plus. It's an iPhone 8 Plus. And I am grateful for that phone. Before that, I had the 6. I had the iPhone 6. So I never had the iPhone 7. I had an iPhone 6. And then uh, my daughter gave me her uh, old phone. And then she upgrades as it goes. But enough of that. The point I'm trying to make is, and then in what I learned in ICU, is that there are no mirrors at this particular hospital. I was at Memorial Hospital here in Jacksonville, Florida, and there are no uh, mirrors in ICU. Okay, I'm not sure why. You would think that like if you, they might think you're gonna harm yourself or something, like if you're on the ward to be evaluated for mental illness or something, I understand. But um, yeah, it, it was no mirror. Uh, so brushing my teeth and stuff, I was like, Ugh, I, I do my affirmations in the mirror. It was the, it was the weirdest thing. So I said, you know what? I just got to figure this out. The phone itself really is a mirror when you first get ready to record. So I just used it uh, to make sure I was even 
and um, just started to record. So this last stint in ICU, uh, I taped more than I did the last time. And I did that because a lot of people the last time I got sick said that they appreciated the, um, you know, the uh, self-care, self-love and the affirmations because even though they saw it as even though I was in the hospital, I was still trying to uplift and encourage. And that is true. And I do that on a daily basis. And if, if I'm really sick and just can't do it, then I don't do it. But most of the time, you'll see me here. Okay, so that's a long intro. Um, I was going to just get on here for a minute and just <laughs> do our do our affirmations. And we are uh, we change our affirmations as it is needed for whatever's going on in our present life. And I say that to people all the time because you um, uh, you'll say what your affirmation is, but it, it has to deal with what's going on at that specific time in your life. So we're going to just do this video today. We're going to do five quick affirmations and we are going to stay on those five affirmations. We're going to speak it into existence. We're going to say it every single day and we are going to manifest greatness. That's what I like to call it. Manifest greatness. You can manifest greatness on a daily basis by saying your affirmations, by praying and having a positive attitude and saying, you know what, this pain or these bones of mine or this cancer is eating me up. But you know what? I'm going to have a positive attitude. And if you do that, your days go so much better. OK, so let's get started. These are our five. Afro is that 10 fingers? Mm -mm -mm. One, two, three, four, five. Five affirmations. <laughs> you got to laugh at yourself. Okay, seriously, let's get started. Number one, this is our first affirmations. You ready? Number one, I am grateful. Number two, I am thankful. Number three, I invite gratitude into my heart this morning. What about you? I invite the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gratefulness into my heart today because I want to have a better day than I did yesterday. I want to be more grateful today than I was on yesterday. Okay, let's keep moving. Number four, my thoughts this morning are filled with positivity. Nothing negative. Every thought that's going through my head this morning will be filled with positivity. I will speak positive thoughts I will say positive thoughts, and I will manifest greatness today. Okay? And number five, our final affirmation this morning is, I am conquering my illness. And um, I have added that one to my affirmations lately because I have to change my way of thinking about my illness. And I've always been positive about it, but I had to word it differently. Now I word it, I am. I am conquering my illness because I always used to pray about just dealing with the pain, you know, and I, I think I've done that quite well. I'd be in a lot of pain and yet I still survive. I'd be in a lot of pain and yet I still, you know, do all the things that I usually do. So five affirmations. We'll go over them quickly one more time because that's all I wanted to talk about today was affirmations and how you start your day with positive, with positive thoughts. I am grateful. I am thankful. I invite gratitude into my heart. Number four, my thoughts are filled with positivity. Number five, I am conquering my illness. These are our affirmations for the day. Use them, fill them up in your heart, and always stay positive. Always keep thinking that things can always get better. And when you stay on that positive mindset, nothing Nothing negative will come your way. Remember, this is our path to manifest greatness into our life. Okay? So, at this point, we're going to breathe in, breathe out, and get our day started. You ready? Breathe in, breathe out. We thank you, Father. We are so grateful, Father. Thank you for this day. Okay? <laughs>
So wherever you're headed today, to work, to school, no matter where you have to go, be happy, be joyous, put a smile on your face, and remember to treat people with respect. It's the only way to live, okay? So have a good day, have a blessed day, and remember, God loves you, and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.